A family is still mourning the loss of a father of four who was gunned down at a Jacksonville Beach Waffle House five years ago. For the first time today, that family is speaking to reporters. Action News' Brittany Jones shows us how they're still searching for answers. The Bats family still has broken hearts after their family member was taken away too soon. It's what brought them back to the Jacksonville Beach Police Department five years later to ask for your help. It doesn't seem that long ago, but it's five years. And we're not any, any closer to the truth. The family of Roderick Batts describes the last five years as painful. After Batts was murdered in this Waffle House parking lot, now they say they just want one thing. We want someone held accountable. The Batts family drove nearly 600 miles from their hometown in North Carolina to hold a press conference asking for answers in their son's brutal murder. They shot him from there. Shot him twice. Once in the lower back and once in his head, but police still haven't been able to find his killers. Witnesses say Bats was on the phone outside Waffle House when two suspects walked up and shot Bats, then took off. One thought that keeps replaying over and over in the family's minds. Why did this happen? It gets really hard sometimes, you know, because he was a great father. So, yeah, it gets really hard. Despite the fact that the family hasn't received any new information in this case, they refuse to allow this case to become cold. I do believe without a doubt that this case will be solved. Mm -hmm. The family tells me they raised nearly $4,000 for a reward. Reporting from Jack's Beach, Brittany Jones, CBS 47 Action News.